Here we have a novelty clock. This uh, particular novelty clock is key wound, but it has the bouncing girl to act like the pendulum. And now this goes up here in the top of this movement. And typically these novelty clocks, the movements are nailed on to the front of the case. You have to take the, uh, the entire front of the case off the wood housing. But in this case, we got lucky. And after taking the dial off, there are a few screws. The clock also has this little bird that comes on that goes onto that wire that rocks back and forth as the movement is ticking away. So now I just need to uh, remove these screws and the pet, uh, movement should come out. And there we go. So now I have to, um, like I said, this is mounted up here. And then you have to uh, put the wire in the spring just right in order to get the clock to bounce up and down. Here's the maker of the clock. It was made in West Germany. Um, I can't read that. Maybe y'all can. You can see it's ticking away. It looks really clean. I'm not going to take the movement apart. I'm just going to give it a dab of oil and the pivots and on the spring and put it back together. Now after giving it some oil to include the virgin crutch assembly. Now when I let go of it, it just takes off like a little rabbit. So now when I add the spring, it should pick away. And to adjust these, you loosen the screw you turn this knob whether you want it to go up as you're turning this knob the spring is going up and or down this metal lever here and then you tighten the screw. You test it out. And 
And in that case, I went the wrong way. So now I need to loosen the screw and go the other way. And you just keep doing that until you've got it to where you want to where it ticks. It's a tedious process, but that's basically what you do. So I'm going to continue doing that tedious process. It's kind of like a watch when you go to put the balance in the watch. When you got it just right, the, um, the scheming wheel would, will move on you. But you have to pay attention. To it. We're close. There it moved, so I'm going to tighten this up and see how it is. Nope, I need to go down quite a ways. I had it. Ah. I had it adjusted, but then I just wanted to show y'all what I did, and uh, things don't always work out on video.
But anyway, I'm going to continue adjusting this. Like I said, what I did a while ago, you see how far down I got to go with that spring. So what I did a while ago is is um, turn this until the spring was equal amount up here as it is down here but right now it's in a bind But I'm going to continue adjusting it. With the B amplifier hooked up to it, you can see it's pretty close. Or here, that is pretty close. So the clock has been running for several hours on my little makeshift test stand. So now it's time to put it back in the case. This little wheel here goes in that hole. And it's what's considered the minute wheel with minute pinion in a regular cuckoo clock. And the whole purpose of it is to slow down the hands so um, I need to put this in without those wheels coming out and I'm hoping that I hit the uh, screw slot, but I don't think I did, so I'm gonna have to take the screws out so I can see the holes. My friend while I was down in his area who gave me that George Cool Railroad Cuckoo Clock liked this clock and uh, I worked on it for a couple minutes while I was there but he sent it home with me and I'm just going to put it together to give it back to him the next time I see him. I got the screws out. Now, see if I can... Put the uh, put the movement in without that little wheel coming out. It's kind of hard for somebody who's got great big hands like me 
to do this. Put in on my hemostats. That way it doesn't fall back in there. And now I can put the screws in. One down. I'll give you some light so you can see. Too bad they're brass screws. Two down. Now I can take my tools off and it ain't gonna move. Three down. Now to put the little bird back on his wire. As you could see, he um, bounces up and down as it ticks away. Now to glue the uh, dial back on. And I'm going to use this stuff right here, this clear tacky glue. You can um, remove the stuff that you glue down using this clear tacky glue. It's not a... I don't know, permanent deal. I guess you could say now to wait for that to dry. This thing was kind of a pain. I had it uh, ticking away all night long. You put that little bird on and you get that wire bent out of shape and it quits ticking. So anyway, I got it going. Hopefully he'll be happy.